my brain is starting to go to shit again. How many days? Three, four, five days out from oh, southern God. Indiana. And um, we're doing depletion workouts now for peak week. Uh, got my coach here, Mark Seidel. We're going to go over this peak week thing, what we're doing as far as food and training. So I'm going to let him talk because I can't talk. As of right now, with, with my programming and the way I have my athletes do things, the last week of the show, if you look good, changes should be minimal. However, your training, in my opinion, your training does need to change a little bit. The focus of your training needs to shift from hypertrophy to just depleting glycogen from your muscles, and that's about it. So not breaking down any muscle. Yeah, I mean, if you're training for actual hypertrophy when you're you know depleting carbs and you have less than a week left to go before a show. I mean, you're going to end up holding more water as a result of it. Um, you're setting yourself up for potential injury. Um, depletion workouts are still intense to a, to a point, but the, the whole point behind them is just to deplete the glycogen left in your muscle cells, and especially, you know, most specifically in your upper body. Um, the reason for that, people always ask me, well, why would you want to deplete glycogen? The purpose of depleting the glycogen is that it it makes your muscle cells get hypersensitive and it will allow them to upregulate the absorption of glucose when you start carb loading. Um, the way I do carb loading isn't anything really outrageous, um, so a little goes a long way for most people unless you're just insanely massive and the muscle cell will actually hold more than it otherwise would. Essentially what you're doing is increasing the volume of of the muscle, so it's gonna Massive. yeah, it's gonna push against the skin more. You're gonna appear leaner because of the fullness. Um, vascularity will start to increase. All that kind of stuff. You go from being flat to being full, and your body can handle a little bit more than it than it typically would if you're starting from a completely depleted point. The process. <coughs> we start the process of depleting Sunday, so six days out, and. We're not adding carbs back into it. Thursday, right. two days out. Yep. So four days of depletion and only two days of carbon back up. Yep. Depends on the individual. Um, I think all we're going to need is, is Thursday and Friday because I'm not doing anything outrageous anyway. Um, and then when I start loading, he's not in the train anymore. No. no more training, no more cardio. That's a huge, that's huge. Um, when you're carb loading, what you're trying to do is, is replenish the glycogen in the muscle cells. I kind of already went over that. Um, when you train, you deplete glycogen. So if you're carb loading and then going to the gym and training, you're putting carbs in the muscle and then going to the gym and then taking them right back out. So there's really no point. Once again, you're not gonna build muscle in two days. Are you gonna burn that much fat in, in two days, three days? No. Key in on the thought behind decreasing body fat. Most people think of, okay, if I want to decrease body fat, I need to lose as much body fat as possible. There's another side to the coin that most people, or almost anybody, is forgetting, is that there's another way to decrease your body fat without losing any body fat, and that's gaining muscle mass. So when you're carb loading, you're not literally building muscle, but what you're doing is filling the muscle cells with glucose. That glucose has mass, it's weight. So you're literally gonna gain weight within the muscle cell and then you and just not, and then not put on fat. Say for instance, my specific situation, say we're 195 at the end of my depletion at generic numbers, 7% body fat, or not even percentage. Let's go uh weight. Let's say I have five pounds of, of body fat on me or something like that. 195 at five pounds of body fat. Then we carve up and I'm 200 pounds. With two, five pounds of body fat. My body fat didn't change. Five pounds of body fat at 200 pounds now. I'm five pounds heavier with the same body fat. I'm going to look bigger. And, and you're going to have a lower body fat percentage. Yep. So that's the purpose of depleting and then carb loading. And again, these aren't these changes aren't as drastic as you look at guys like Juan Morel and some of these pros and everyone thinks, well, this is what you got to do. You got to eat like 20,000 calories to carb up. 
absolutely fucking not. Oh my god, no. He might have a way to spell him. Might work for him, but he's also like 300 pounds in the off season and has an unbelievable metabolism. Exactly. You don't. <laughs> no carving or depleting, they're doing like 200 grams of carbs. Right. That's low to them. They're suffering with that. Where I'm doing like zero grams of carbs. Five days out, going through the completion process, get back at you on the refeed process. Boom. Go, kid. Go, kid. Do the crap with me. Oh.